The goal of the period game is to be the first person to make it all the way around the board, also known as becoming a period pro. The board has four different types of spaces to represent the roughly four week cycle that periods occur on. The first space is just hanging, because you're not always thinking about your period. The second is ovulation, or when an egg is released from an ovary. The third is PMS, or premenstrual syndrome, which refers to the different physical and emotional symptoms that might affect someone in the one to two weeks before their period. You'll see different possible symptoms on each PMS space on the board. And lastly, you have period spaces. First, unfold the board. Lock the centerpiece in place, and put three red marbles, eight clear marbles, and one purple marble in each ovary. Next, place the cards on the card spot on the board. Then each player should select a piece, put it on start, and draw three cards. At the center of the board, you have a representation of the menstruating reproductive system. You can learn more in your educational booklet. You'll start every turn by twisting the ovary to release a marble. The youngest player goes first, and then you move clockwise. If you get a clear marble, you move forward one space. If you get a red marble, you got your period, and you move to the next period space. If you get a purple marble, you leaked. Go to the nurse's office ahead of you and skip next turn. Once you see the color of your marble, you should put it back in the same ovary you twisted. At the end of every turn that you're not on a period space, you'll pick up a card. Therefore, on just hanging and ovulation, all you do is pick up a card. On PMS spaces, you have to play a pink PMS card to counteract the symptoms. The card you play does not need to relate directly to the symptom on the board, but you should read it out loud as you play it. After that, draw a new card. If you do not have a PMS card, you'll trade in your entire hand and pick up three new cards. That counts as your turn, and you don't need to do anything else. When you land on a period space, you have to play a protection card. Depending on the type of period space, you can play different cards. On a regular space, you can play any one protection card. On a heavy space, you can play two regular cards or one super tampon or menstrual cup. And on a swimming space, you can play any card that's not a pad because pads would get wet and weigh down your bathing suit. Because menstrual cups are reusable in life, you get to keep the card when you use it, only showing it to players instead of placing it down. If you don't have the right protection cards or you pull a purple marble, you go to the nurse's office. You always move to the station ahead of you and skip one turn. You can keep track of how many turns have gone by by moving your piece onto the period space during your skip turn. Wild cards can only be played at the beginning of your turn, but you can play more than one at once. When you are done playing wild cards, you twist the ovary and continue with your turn. Here are the different types of wild cards. Pad your cards lets you ask another player for any card you want. Switch spaces with the player in front of you lets you switch spaces with the player who's one position ahead of you on the board. Bye! Makes everyone else on the board move back by one space and have to play the appropriate card. This card does not affect players in the nurse's office. Extra undies lets you get out of the nurse's office without skipping a turn. You play it at the start of the turn you would skip and get to play your whole turn. When you land on the final period space, you still need to protect yourself. If you have protection, you win! Woo! Otherwise, you must remain on the space, drawing one card per turn until you're able to play any protection card. No one can swap places with you when you're on the final space. Let's play!